Hello Rise Up Visionaries, I'm Susan May and I'm here to share my random ramblings and anything that goes through my brain to inspire you to tune into your intuition so you can begin your journey of unplugging. So today is Saturday, it's September 25th, which means it is my husband Mike's birthday and I am just overflowing with gratitude today um, for him. He is a true partner um, I think if we knew what we were getting into 18 plus years ago, uh, we might have been a little more unsure of ourselves, but we were very certain, both of us, we had been through a lot and I don't think either of us really had the um, stereotypical cold feet that day. So I am so grateful for him because over the years when I have come to him with these new ideas, he doesn't always agree and sometimes he resists, but he is just great at listening and he tunes into his intuition really well. Like I am the kind of person I need to dig in and learn and read and hear stories to, um, to feel confident in making a decision that is quote different. But he has always been great at looking directly at our children and seeing what's good for them. And so I think, although he was really uncertain sometimes about ideas I had about parenting, as he watched our children grow, he came to appreciate that um, the ideas that I had were being um, held up by our experience in real life. So I am so, so grateful for him and just our journey. It's just been an incredible journey and I'm really excited for where we're going from here. Um, and I think of that conversation that I had recently with Elliot Freed and how he talks about how the way forward is through conversation and relationship. And it makes me feel good to look at those really important relationships in my life, the, the ones that I'm closest, that are most meaningful, and realize I've done that. And I think sometimes I forget because I take that for granted. I think, oh my gosh, I'm failing in all these other um, more peripheral relationships. I haven't um, been able to like connect heart to heart with people. I've lost people along the way. But the people closest to me, we have, we've done the work and, and it's so awesome to just be able to be yourself and to be able to express yourself with people that you love. And so, that conversation with Elliot I think is amazing. If you haven't checked that out yet, I will put the link to the YouTube interview in the comments. Um, other things I'm grateful for are sleep. You hear me talk about sleep a lot. I posted in my Gather and Get Moving group, um, which is a private group that anyone can join, it's free, um, a question about what do you think impacts your health the most? And I'm getting so many great answers, so many people talking about stress and um, getting out and moving, getting outside, um, their relationships, all amazing things that I completely agree with. Um, only one other person mentioned sleep, and I have really, really been thinking about sleep a lot lately um, for a lot of reasons. I really started valuing sleep when I was pregnant with Carter, so that's about six years ago now that I was like napping every day, and I kept that habit up through his infanthood and his early childhood years. Um, and I'd always, it's just amazing to get naps every day and to feel rested as a mother of a newborn. Um, and I have always noticed that I start getting sick when I have a lack of sleep, almost always. And so I know that people know it's important, but I don't think we truly, truly appreciate how important it is. And um, I've heard different people talk this past year about sleep. Um, Zach Bush brought it up when he was looking at some severe cases of the illness of the times, and he saw that for young people, lack of sleep was a huge correlate to becoming seriously ill. Um, so I just think sleep is something that's so, so important. Um, if you have other things that you think really impact your health and you're on Gather and Get Moving, I'd love to hear your thoughts over there. Or if you wanna join, um, you can just search Gather and Get Moving with Susan May or uh, message me. Um, I'm so grateful for my family. My parents are down visiting for a quick week. 
Um, and so we have plans. Remember I said, if you don't have anything to look forward to, make plans. That's why I'm doing my live early today because we are gonna be spending the day with them at their house. And look, built-in babysitters for Mike's birthday. So um, we are going to go out to eat, whether it's just the two of us for a date night or a date night with our big kids if they wanna join us and Carter can stay home with my parents. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But so grateful for my family. Um, and for making plans and um, just feeling really content, like that content, peaceful feeling inside that we all just savor when it happens. And I think for so many of us feels very fleeting, like we want it and we're not sure how to create it um, consistently in our lives. So I'm just sharing with you different things that have helped me and I'm feeling so great today, again, because I'm rested and because I have people around me that support me. So that's where I'm at today. I'm feeling really, really grateful for all of you. Um, I'm looking forward to the next few months. I have big plans. Um, I'm wrapping up my live challenge this week, 30 days of live. I've only missed one so far because I was forgetful that day. And um, I plan to keep going live often. I don't know if I'll do it every day, but I think it's been really beneficial for me and I hope beneficial for you to get to know me. Um, but next month, I celebrate 10 years of my blog, Together Walking, which is pretty incredible to me. So I've already started digging back into the old, my very, very, very first posts and have found some amazing things already. And so I'm going to revisit some of those posts through the months of um, October. I'm going to do some book giveaways to celebrate, um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And then in November, I'm opening doors again to the Rise Up community. Um, so it's going to be a busy, fun uh, fall, and I'm just so excited to share all that with you. Um, I have been thinking a lot, too, about how do I reach people? Um, because as we all know, Facebook is a funky place right now for people um, advocating for these radical ideas of freedom and liberty. Um, and so what I've noticed is that my business page is not reaching or growing very much. And I'm not really surprised by that. Um, it's not just because of the topics that I cover. It's also because Facebook really would like um, businesses to use advertising. But for me, and I've talked to people that agree with me that are in like business and membership world, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do advertising um, when the topics are being <laughs> on Facebook. So I'm thinking of moving now to mostly posting on my personal profile and I feel pretty good about that. Um, I just want to be upfront about that so you understand my um, why. Um, I really feel that my personal life and this rise up um, with Susan May idea are very closely intertwined so it doesn't feel weird to me. I don't feel like I need a separation because basically I'm just um, sharing myself with you and if you resonate with that and you want more ideas of how I can help with you that's you know that's when you would join me. Um, so if you have any input on that I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, I think I will keep the business page but I'm not going to pour a whole lot into that. I'll probably just post um, short posts there um, and continue to share them on my personal profile. Um, I also think about getting off onto another platform and I'm just kind of doing um, what I told you guys yesterday. I'm going to wait and see what happens naturally, what unfolds, keep taking that next right step and see what makes sense. Um, so I hope you all have some fun plans for the weekend. Please um, share in the comments what you're doing this weekend. Um, and please like my Rise Up with Susan May Facebook page if you haven't already. Um, you know, I just said that I'm not going to use it much, but we'll see. Um, subscribe on YouTube if you enjoy these videos and you'd like to speed them up because I don't talk fast enough for you and it takes up too much time to watch a 10-minute video. You can watch it in five minutes just like that. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. More importantly, if anything inspires you, please share so the good energy and love can spread like wildfire. And remember, be bold, be brave, be you because who else is there to be? I love you all, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.